Welcome to Puntillo and Crane Orthodontics. So now that your braces are on, let's review your home care kit, which includes a few things to help you take care of your braces. There's a travel toothbrush, an at-home toothbrush, floss and floss threaders, an interproximal brush, wax, food list, and an instructional magnet. Okay, let's start with how to brush your teeth with braces. You will angle your toothbrush at a 45 degree angle, making sure to clean the area between the brackets and the gum line. That's the area where your teeth and gums meet. And doing that will help keep those gums from getting swollen during treatment. Turning your toothbrush in three different positions, reaching the top of the braces, the bottom of the braces, and the front of the braces. Spending at least 30 seconds in each position. Making sure to look in the mirror after brushing to see that all areas are clean. And don't forget to brush your chewing surfaces and the back of your teeth. You will need to brush at least two to three minutes, making sure each surface is clean. And you will need to brush your teeth at least three times a day or after every meal. We have also included a travel toothbrush to take with you to school or work. At night, you are going to use Prevident. Use a small pea size amount, brush around, spit out, but don't rinse. It will dissolve. Nothing to eat or drink for 30 minutes after brushing. The first bottle is included with treatment. When you need more, you can purchase it at our front desk. Okay, let's go over how to floss with your braces. You're actually going to need to thread the floss under the arch wire. So to do that, we have included floss threaders in your home care kit. Start by threading the floss through the loop in the floss threader, then thread the floss threader under the arch wire and gently go between your teeth, hugging the sides of each tooth. Do this between each tooth. Next, let's talk about your proxy brush. You can use it to loosen food particles, remove plaque, and stimulate your gums. Gently push the bristled end under the arch wire between the brackets. Now, if it is hard to push the brush into an area, don't try to force it because you might accidentally break a bracket. So only use it in those areas where you can be sure to use it gently. A water pick or water flosser is a great tool to have to get into hard to reach areas. It cleans between the teeth and below the gum line. There are a lot more areas around the braces that plaque can build up as well as sugar can sit. It's important to keep your teeth clean to avoid permanent damage like cavities, anti-calcification marks. Please continue to see your dentist every six months for regular cleanings. Don't forget to take your dental reward certificate to bring back to us for points. Let's talk about wax. As you're getting used to your braces, you might feel some sore spots on the insides of your cheeks and lips. And if you do, you can use orthodontic wax to cover the area that's bothering you. Just pinch off a small piece of wax and soften it by rolling it around between your fingers. Then just place the wax over the spot that's bothering you. Drying the area prior to placing the wax will help it stick better. Then remove before eating or brushing. As a normal part of your orthodontic treatment, you might also experience a dull, achy sensation after getting your braces on, and maybe after each adjustment appointment too. If that happens, you can just take Tylenol, Ibuprofen, or whatever you normally take for a headache or muscle aches, and you should be fine. If you have any sores from the brace rubbing your cheeks, you can use the wax, but you can also use a warm saltwater rinse to help. Just dissolve two tablespoons of salt in a cup of warm water and swish. Peroxyl can also be used to help speed up the healing process of any mouth sores you may experience. Accidents can and do happen. Biting into hard, sticky, or chewy foods can break brackets or bend wires. It's important to avoid these foods as this can delay treatment or cause your teeth to shift in the wrong direction. If at any time you happen to break a bracket or wire, be sure to save any broken brackets and bring them with you to your next appointment. But be sure to text the office on our next working day so that we are aware and can determine if it can wait until the next visit or if you need to come in sooner. So let's talk about foods to avoid. 
it's important to avoid eating any kind of hard, sticky, chewy, or crunchy foods as they can damage your braces. Things like pretzels, popcorn, ice, Tootsie Rolls, any kind of gum, corn on the cob, nuts, Jolly Ranchers, or caramels. Also, you don't want to bite into things with your front teeth, such as corn on the cob and apples. You will need to cut the corn off the cob and cut things such as apples and carrots up into bite-sized pieces and chew them with your back teeth. Bandlock is the blue bumps on your lower back teeth that you are biting on. They hold your bite open so you don't bite off your bottom braces. If you notice these come off or wear down, let us know. They usually stay on the first half of treatment until we get your bite fixed. Wearing rubber bands is how your bite gets fixed. So when you are instructed to wear rubber bands, it's important to follow instructions to get your bite corrected. Also, if you play sports, we will give you a special mouth guard made to go over the braces. Just let us know. So there you go. That's it. Congratulations again. We know you'll do a great job. And feel free to give us a shout anytime if you have questions or concerns. Thanks so much for choosing Puntillo and Crane Orthodontics. We are excited for you and your journey to a life-changing smile.